And so one of Maya's problems is a lack of focus. So from what I've determined from so far in this session is we've kind of dropped most of the rules and structure. And so Maya considers herself to be the same status or authority level as the, as the guardian. So listing the guardian is optional. Um, and then when we're outside and we have all the distractions because she has no real discipline, she's just a fart in the wind. She's paying no attention. So this will help her learn to focus on you. And this is a great exercise. She's gonna get better at the more that you do it. Uh, basically, I call it focus. Uh, it's a reverse sit exercise, but I'm going to key it with the word focus because I want the dog to basically come sit right up in front of me, sit and look up at me. So then eventually, at first what we're going to do is we're going to practice here in the basement, uh, but eventually the guardian is going to start practicing in the backyard and in the front yard and then on walks or if she's a walking and there's another dog walking across the street, you can stop and do this exercise in front of somebody's house. You just, all sorts of crazy places. Now the key is we want to start out by doing it in a real easy situation like this, then we're going to gradually increase the level of uh, distractions. But a lot of people do inside once and then they go to like a parade or a park. It's way overwhelming. It's too much for the dog to deal with. So what I do is I have the leash attached to my belt here in front and I want to keep uh, uh, the bend of this between my knees and my, and, my hip, uh, and my ankles. So I don't want the dog to get tied up on it. This might actually be a little too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, when you're doing this, it's important to keep your hands here together. You can be like this, you can be like this, but you, you don't want them drifting like this. When, when I'm offering the treat, it's going to do, boom, I'm going to do it very fast. That treat delivery speed is really important. So I'm going to show you a three second delivery. It's about three seconds. That's pretty fast. Maya. That's the delivery speed I'm looking for, about a third of a second. So uh, you can see now she's already focusing looking here. Maya, so I'm gonna lure her back into position. I want to focus. All right, so I'm gonna put my back to the camera. We're gonna walk that way. You can stay there, but as we start coming, you might, the camera might need to move. So Maya, this is how I get her here. I lure her with a treat. Put her in a sit. I'm gonna readjust the leash so it's not flopping up. Focus. Now I would start out with a handful of treats in, in your off hand. Maya. And when you move backwards, you want to move three steps and you move very quickly. Maya. Focus. So as soon as she's in the right position, I'm giving delivering that treat. Why don't you step back over here? Maya. Focus. Maya. Focus. Now I normally don't do a lot of treats like this, but I'm doing it because she's distracted. So this time I'm going to try to do two, Maya. Focus. 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 But I don't want to like leave my hand here. See how this is just for her. She thinks this is for her. So I always bring it back. Focus. Whoops. And try not to fumble it like I just did. <laughs> Okay, so let me get a couple more. So now she's not trying to bounce over there as much. All right, Maya, come up, sit. Focus. Maya. Focus. Now that time I left the treat out in front to kind of guide her to where I want her to go. Focus. Now we have a, a pretty good sized uh, basement but it's not as big as outside. So I'm going to do another couple steps. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to do kind of a U-turn. When I do this, I'm going to use the treat to, to guide her. So let's do this way. Oh, you got it twice. Maya. Focus. Maya. Focus. Maya. Maya. Focus. So she's a little bit all over the place because she's never done this before. She's like, I got my treat and I'm ready to go do something else. The idea when we do this, now this is the living room, it's, it's hot, it's the 4th of July, so we're inside. But when you're doing your outside, you can go all the way across your yard. Do it about three steps at a time, stop short, and if she's in if she's in the wrong way, then do this, I call this, they call this a flash lure. So I can kind of bring her to where I want. Focus. Focus. Get a freebie. 
Maya. Focus. See how her focus, she's focusing at me? Now we're delivering, we're giving an obscene amount of treats, which is fine, because that's what we want to do. I'm gonna do one more little run, and we'll call it on this one. Maya. 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 Focus. 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 here and she's starting to orientate this way now again it's we're giving her an obscene amount of treats but that's the positive reinforcer that we need to to get her to learn to focus focus I say the word focus because eventually when they're distractions I want to be able to say focus and she just runs over sits down and looks up in front of me and now she's not looking at the other dogs or the rabbits or the fireworks or whatever else it is so this is what we call the reverse sit uh, you really need to practice it inside or in a place with no distractions until the dog is pretty consistent and you don't have to lure the dog back into your center line like this. Focus. And remember, to the, one of the most important things with this is the treat delivery speed. Maya. Focus. So I like, I'm really fast and I just hold it basically right in front of her nose. She actually opens her mouth and takes the treat. So that's the reverse sit with uh, adding the keyword of focus.